Praise the Lord. If you're there tonight, amen, you just look up here at me, amen, like Johnny says, smile, let me know you're there. Amen. Is that chapter Praise 1? 51. Chapter 51, Isaiah, chapter 51. That's part of the Messiah. Amen. How many knows that God will watch over you? Amen. Amen. Yeah. How many knows that the Bible says that God said He'd never leave us nor forsake us? Amen. How many knows that God don't want you to leave Him nor forsake Him? Amen. Right. So the very first word on in Isaiah 51 starts off with hearken. Amen. Yep. We have to draw to God, amen. We have to cling to Him, amen. We have to stay with Him, amen. We have to follow after Him, amen. I believe all these things mean to hearken, amen. Mm -hmm. We need to listen to God, amen, and hear what God has to say and do what God would have us to do, amen. In this lost and dying world, we'll not make heaven our home if we're not willing to hearken unto God, amen. Come on, brother. Bible says, hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are him, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are dead. Amen. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bare you, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and, a, and the voice of melody. Verse 4. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a life of the people. Amen. Let's go to the Lord tonight in a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you tonight, Lord, for your word. We ask you, God, to just manifest your word in our hearts tonight, God. God, just equip us, God, with wisdom and knowledge tonight, God. God, help us, God, by stirring our hearts to do that which you have us to do, God. Help us to hearken unto you and listen to you, God. God, just, Father God, help us to follow after you and all your righteousness. We, God, and direct us, Lord. We thank you for it, Lord. We praise you and glorify you for your patience, God. And tonight, God, teach us that we should have patience, God. God, as we come together tonight, God, I just pray, God, that your spirit would take over and lead God and direct each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord tonight. Amen. Amen. Church, I want to say this. Amen. That I believe that you and I need to realize, amen, that God will not make us serve Him. Amen. Yes. Glory God. to God. He's a gentleman. That's what I've always called God. He's the gentleman. Amen. Yes. He is. He's the one that puts up with everything and never lets you down on anything. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, I see people today at each other's throat center. I see people uh, feuding and fussing between each other, family Mom. members, amen. I see people that once was best friends, no longer friends, amen, yep. because of problems, amen, because they don't know how to let go, Brother Johnny, and let God, amen. I see Christians today, amen, that harboring hard feelings one towards another, amen, and wondering why things are the way that they are, amen, and, and, and you know, all they got to realize is one thing, if they just sit at the feet of Jesus and put their trust and faith in Him, He would take care of it, but a lot of times, their flesh will overrule their spirit, man, amen, yep. and they'd rather do and act the way their flesh says to act, amen, than that which the Word of God says to act, amen. How many of you at times find yourself guilty in this situation, amen? Find yourself uh, harboring hard feelings towards someone, amen? Getting upset like Brother Johnny said the other night, amen? Getting upset and blowing your horn at them, amen? Telling them to get out of the way while they can't even hear you 
but you're sitting there talking to them. Amen. Yeah. You're busting at them. Amen. But God hears you. Amen. Yeah. We need to realize tonight, amen, that we're supposed to be a people beyond the people. Amen. I believe that God's only coming after a remnant, sister. Amen. I believe He's only coming after those that's willing to take up the cross and yeah. follow after Him. Those that are willing to hearken unto His voice and do that which He would yeah. have them to do. Amen. Mom. Even in the midst of crisis, amen, that they'd humble themselves amen, yeah. and allow God to be God in their lives. Amen. I'm telling you tonight, amen, that we need to learn to get aside of ourselves. Amen. To push self away, amen, and to seek after God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body, amen. And let God be God in our life, amen. I'm telling you tonight, amen, right here. It says, hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, amen. I find it easy to do the will of God when I've spent time with Jesus, amen. 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 Right, amen. But it's hard. I'm going to tell you, it's hard, sisters. When you ain't spent no time with him to act like a godly person. Amen. It's hard to walk in righteousness and holiness. Amen. When you've not spent any time alone with him. Amen. Hard to hearken to his voice. And even though people know what they need to do, Brother Cletus, we see people today that's been in church for a long time. Yep. Still not heeding to the things of the Lord. Amen. When I say heeding to them, I mean doing them. Yep. Amen. Come on. We can't call ourselves Christians, amen, and act like the world. Amen. Preach, brother. Come on. We've got to come out from amongst the world, the Bible says. And we need to become steadfast, unmovable, stable in all His ways. We need to hearken unto yeah. His voice and unto the calling that which He's placed in our life. Amen. And be who God's called us to be. Amen. There's times in the midnight hour. Amen. I don't feel like getting up. Amen. There's times God will wake me up and He won't let me go back to sleep. Amen. Because He'll speak to me. Amen. And when I hear Him, I don't want to go back to sleep, brother. Amen, Tom. brother. Yes. But what about those times when you go to get along with him, Brother Johnny, and you don't hear him? Come on. Oh, I know. I'm, I've shut the door on God plenty of times just because he didn't speak up talk to me right away. I'm guilty. But you know what, Brother Johnny, I'm finding is I learned to wait on the Lord. I learned to sit there patiently and be quiet and listen. Oh, it may be 15, it may be 20, it may even be 30 minutes, amen. amen. There's been times I've sat there for an hour and God ain't said a thing. And I've talked to God and talked to God and talked to God and I don't hear a thing. I'm like, God, what am I going to do? Yes. And then all of a sudden God says, Just trust me. See, sometimes we just don't do what God wants us to do because we have a lot of doubt and unbelief. Amen. Yep. We find ourselves worrying and fretting over this and that and all the time. God just wants us to trust Him. Yep, that's what He wants. Well, sometimes we let our flesh keep us from trusting God. Amen. Amen. Yes. Bible tells us to be steadfast, unmovable, stable in all His ways. In all Amen. His ways. To take up the cross and follow after Him, after righteousness. That's what it says right there in verse says. 1. Follow after righteousness. See, if, if you're a Christian and been a Christian for any little length of time whatsoever, you know His voice. And he'll not lead you astray. Amen. That's right. But you got to be willing to do it God's way. Amen. Yes, you do. you got to be willing to heed to him. Amen. To cling to him. Amen. To, to lean, if you would, to him. Love that verse, Proverbs 3 and 5 says, Lean not unto thy own understanding. 
but acknowledge, acknowledge God in all yes. of us. There's times, Brother George, amen, yes. I come to places and areas of my life where I have to lean more to God. Glory to God. And then there's times it comes real easy. What are you talking about, Brother Derek? Well, when times get rough, it's easy to lean to God. Yeah, it is. You know what's hard? In sunny days. Come on, brother. Go fishing. Come on. <laughs> That's them days. Yeah. That's hard. You're right, brother. <laughs> it's hard when everything's yeah. going good yeah. to lean to God. Why? Because uh, there's nothing in your way. There's nothing bothering you. You don't feel that you need anything, amen? I mean, I'm telling you, Brother Johnny, but we get it wrong. We need to realize, amen, if it weren't for God, we wouldn't have breath in our body, amen? If it weren't for God, we wouldn't have a roof yeah. over our head. Right. If it weren't for God, we couldn't walk and talk and do the things that we can do. But we're blessed because we live in a yeah. nation, amen, where we can worship God yeah. fully, amen, and give Him praise yeah. and glory. Yeah. Right. Not willing to heed to him, amen. amen. Not willing to say yes, Lord. Whatever your will is, Lord. See, Come Jesus on. set a good example for all of us when he walked up pathway of Calvary, amen. When he walked up Gilgotha, is that how you say it? Galgotha, yeah. Galgotha's hill, amen. Amen. When he walked up that hill. Carrying the cross, amen. That's a hard walk. Come on. I'm telling you, amen. Yeah. You know what Jesus did? He hearkened unto the voice of God. Yes, he did. Amen. Sure did. He was flesh and blood just as you and I, but he lived without sin, amen. He showed us that we can do it, amen. amen. And we'll hearken to the voice of the Lord, amen. And we'll heed to him, amen. Yes. And we'll follow after righteousness and follow after God and do that which he's called us to do, amen. Amen. We need to know who we are. Amen. Yep. We're of the seed of righteousness and holiness, Amen. We're no longer of the seed of corruption. Amen. Right. We've been grafted in by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're a, we have inherited. Amen. The right. Amen. To stand up in royalty. Amen. And claim the goodness yeah. of God in our life. Amen. amen. But a lot of us aren't willing to do it. A lot of us still have problems with us. The <laughs> devil's a problem sometimes. Amen. He is a problem sometimes. I'm amen. not going to say that he's not. There are times he comes along, amen. He put a sickness up on you, amen. You didn't even do anything wrong. There's times, though, that we create problems in our own life simply by not seeking after God like we should. The Bible said, and Brother Johnny touched this the other night, when he said that, Bible says, touch not God's anointing and do thy prophets. No oh, harm. That's what it says. When you come against God's children, I'm telling you, you're asking for trouble. Yep. That's right. That's right. Amen? You sure are. You'll get it. Why? Man. Because the Bible says that the anointing destroys the yoke of bondage. And any time we, we go against God's will, amen, I'm telling you, go against God's man. Think about, let's go back to, to Daniel or David and, and uh, Saul, amen. Brother Johnny preached a message the other night about respect. Yep. David had every right to kill Saul. Yeah, he was trying By to the physical, yeah. amen. By the carnality, he had every right to take Saul's life because Saul was out to kill him. Right? Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. And he he was simply, he would have had right just by the defense part of saying, well, he was going to kill me so I got him first. Uh, right? Yeah, self-defense. There you go. But you know what? When he found him in that cave, he reached over, got up close to Saul while he was asleep and cut the bottom of his shirt off, or uh -huh. skirt off. I 
all he did to him. What he did. Walked out of that cave and then he hollered at him when he got out there. I'm just paraphrasing. Amen. That's what he did, bro. Got out there and he said, Saul. He said, Look. But he said, I could have got you. I could have killed you. I could have got you, Saul. I had you. Had you right where I had. I was so close to you. I looked at him right here. Look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. Down there. It's gone. I got yep. I got the other part of your shirt right here. I could have took your life, but I didn't. Amen. Why? Because he respected the anointing, the calling upon Saul's life. Amen. Yeah. That's why. He wanted to give Saul every opportunity, brother. Amen. Amen. You know that God loves you so yeah. much that he'll give you every opportunity to. Yes, Amen. he will. He don't close the door on you. We shut the door on ourselves. Yes. A lot of times we find ourselves walking away from God instead of hearkening unto Him. Amen. Amen. We find ourselves shutting the door on God instead of opening the door saying, come on in, Lord, and sup with me. Amen. How many knows that the Lord wants to come in and sup with you? Yes, Amen. He does. How many knows that the Lord wants come to on. take care of you? Yes, Amen. He does. How many knows that God said He'd never leave you nor forsake you? Amen. How many believe, Amen, that God yeah. is here with you right now? Yeah. Amen. This very minute, amen, and he's talking to you, amen. amen. Trying to build your faith, amen. Trying to get you to look at things differently than yeah. that which you've looked at them in the past so that you can be who he's called you to be. Amen. Glory to God. See, there's a thing about God. God never has let me down. But I've heard a lot of people at times say, why would God do this to me? Come on, brother. Yeah. A lot of times, it's good preaching, brother. We do it ourselves. We do it ourselves. Amen, brother. You got that, brother. John, brother George is on the message tonight. Amen, Amen. Bro. Come on. Why do we do that? Because we don't hearken to him like we should. We don't spend time with him like we should. We don't get along with him and talk to him. We don't take his Amen. word and place it on the tables of our heart like we should. Amen. I'm telling you the truth tonight. Amen. And we'll begin to seek after God with all our heart, mind, soul, and body. Amen. Each and every one of us would be better off. Amen. Amen. That's why I said I want all of you to just go spend five more minutes. Amen. Yes. A day with him. Amen. And come back in here. Uh, and let me know how God's done in your life. Amen. And what he's Glory done. to God. Yes. Come give a testimony about Come up. the Lord. Yes. You know what? Truly, God will give us a testimony. Yeah. Amen. He'll not let you down. Amen. Amen. He'll do it. But that five minutes that we don't spend with Him, that we should have spent, that we uh -huh. could have spent, you know what? There's an old song that says, Waste. Days, yeah. wasted years, or something like that. Yeah. Wasted that nights, wasted nights, whatever it was. Amen. I, I couldn't remember all of it, but I know this. It's that wasted yeah, really. time. Amen. <laughs> yeah. It's the time that we uh, should have spent with him that we didn't. Uh huh. That you can't go back and make up. You can't. You can't make it up. That's lost. Amen. Yeah. It's gone forever. Amen. See, yesterday's gone and forgotten. Yep. But today's a new day, Brother Johnny. We can start all over. Start right all now. over again. Praise right God. Now. Yes. Amen. So what do you mean, Brother Derek? I believe this, Sister Penny, that when we make a vow to God, we keep it. Yep. I believe God expects us to keep it. Amen. Yes. Right. Amen. We, we let ourselves talk ourselves out of keeping that vow. Now, I don't care what it is. If you make a vow to God, it don't matter what uh -huh. it is, amen. What matters is you keep it, amen. Mm -hmm. Why? Sandra and I was talking to Melissa the other night about integrity. Yep. Do you do it, amen. Do what you say you're going to do. Morality, yes, come on. Walk with respect yes. and honor. Amen. Don't let people drag you down, amen. <coughs> And put you don't don't put yourself in a situation yes. that it's going to put you down. That's right. Stay out of the mud. Stay out of that stuff. Amen. Stay out of the mud. Yeah. Right. Come on. What's that? The Bible said to walk wise and circumspectively, circumspectively. Yeah. redeeming the time for the days of evil. 
Sometimes we just don't walk wise enough, do we? Right. Sometimes we put ourselves in bad situations. I, I'm praying about a situation right now, Brother Johnny, amen, that I need God to show me what to do and how to do it and when to do it, amen, <laughs> and, and, and I, want, I want Him to lead me. Yes, God. amen. Because I know that the Bible says that the footsteps of a just man are ordered by the Lord. What I know called? that God has placed me in this situation, amen. I didn't place myself there. Come but on. God wants to use me. And I want, I want to make God happy. Amen. amen, brother. I want to put a smile on his face. Yes. I don't want to let him down and mess up, amen. But I want to be who God's come called on. me to be. Amen. And I've come to realize, Brother Cletus, I can't do it without him. That's right. Amen. Without him, it's just us. Come I can't on. do it without him. I'll mess up for sure. Amen. But you know what? I come to an area of my life that I'm tired of messing up. Amen. Amen. I know that God's blessings will overflow me. If I walk in his righteousness, if I do what he's called me to do. Amen. Now, I can't make anybody do what God's called them to do, but I can sure set a good example. Yep. And so can you. Amen. But the only way I can do that is by spending time with God, getting along with him, making him my rock and my fortress. Amen. Looking unto him as my high tower, amen, knowing that he'll take care of everything, knowing amen. that I don't have to do anything, but he to him, amen, put my trust and faith in him, and trust him like he wants me to, amen, amen, sometimes to trust God, it's not easy, that's right, especially when your mind is going through all these things that you visually can see, amen, I mean, you can just look upon things, amen, and doubt God, because your mind will begin to talk to you. Amen. The things that your eyes can see, amen, will, will cost you. You say, what are you talking about, Brother Derek? All right, well, you get you a $500 electric bill in, amen, and have you about a paycheck of $350, and you ain't got another check coming in before that bill is due, amen, or they're going to cut it off. Now then, amen. what's the first thing you start thinking? Oh, no. I ain't going to be able to pay this. Where am I going to do this? Oh, God, I'm in trouble now. What am I going to do? I ain't got no more funds coming in. I ain't got another check coming in before this. Is, I don't know what I ain't. Nobody going to give me this kind of money. Amen. Uh, I'm sitting there. That's why I can tell you about it. Amen. My goodness gracious. Amen. We had one come in. It was $999 for FBU, I thought. Yeah, we... What in the world is going on? Why did they let me do that high? We had electric, cable, water, all of it was together, right, Sandra? But it was still $999 for one month. I thought, my goodness, I ain't never seen no electric bill that high. How in the world they got something wrong? Uh, go check that meter. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have no, oh, we called him, told him to come check our meter. Triple check that thing. I hear you, buddy. Something's got to be wrong. Y'all must not have read it or something. Y'all, I don't know what's going on. Something's not right about this. Ain't no way that thing can jump for, from $400, $500 to $999 in a month. The world's going on. Talk it off. Real slack on work at that time. Didn't have yeah. no money coming in. All we did was cold weather. What in the world are we going to do? Sandra, I don't know what we're God's going to have to take care of me. Uh -huh. so he sure is, because I can't take care of him. <laughs> Amen, brother. Right? That's the choker right there, let me tell you. But you know what? we got to realize something. God allows things like that to happen to build our faith. Amen? Amen. Now, I'm not telling you to turn all your electricity, all your lights and everything on, leave them on all month, and, and say, God, you said you'd take care of me. I ain't. <laughs> I ain't tell you that. Amen, brother. See, if we hearken unto God, he'll tell us to cut the light off. Yeah, he will. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll show us how to walk wise and circumspectly. God is redeeming good. the yes. times for the days are evil. Amen. He'll give us the wisdom, amen, to overcome those obstacles and stumbling blocks that which we usually stomp our toes on. Amen. Yep. Come on, brother. Preach. He'll do that. Why? Because he's God and he can do things like that. Amen. 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 Yes, he can. But he'll only do that for those that hearken to me. Yep. Amen. That follow after righteousness. Yes. Right. I said he won't help those that are lost. Amen. Because he does. That rock. I said that he won't bless those that are lost. Because he does. He does. Bible says he blesses the just and the unjust. And the Amen. unjust. And he does. I know a lot of people that's wealthy, I mean rich, yeah. money-wise, they got everything they want, but they ain't got what I got. That's right. Amen. You hear what I said? They ain't got what I got. Come on. Amen. Money can't buy what I got, Brother Johnny. Amen. I'm telling you, it only comes from the Spirit of God. Amen. Serving Him with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. Amen. I couldn't serve Him without His Spirit right. inside. That's right, Brother. Bible said, and I quoted this to somebody today. I said, Bible says that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. I'm telling you, you can make it for a long time without eating, but you can't make it without His Spirit. Amen. Right, amen. You'll never make heaven your home without Jesus. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Turn with me to, to the book of Micah. Amen. Amen. I don't have much more. Amen. Preach. Somebody say praise the Lord. Obey the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. Listen to what Micah Chapter 1, verse 2 says. It says about the same thing as verse 4 said. Mm -hmm. It says, Hear all ye people, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord from His holy temple. Amen. <laughs> you know what? I don't know about you. But I know Derek needs God. Yes, me too. To make it through this old world. Yes. Amen. For a lot of times I say, God, if there's too much of me, show me and tell me how to get rid of me. God, help me to humble myself and be who you called me to be. God, I can't make it without you, God. And there's times, God, I try and I know that I mess up, God, and I don't mean to, but God, help me to trust you more. I heard people saying, don't you pray for patience, brother. You don't want all Hades to break loose. You don't pray for patience. I couldn't make it without patience. I couldn't. Amen. Sometimes just on the job site, I need a little more patience. Sometimes there in the homestead with the kids and wife, I need a little more patience. Amen. Come on, brother. Sometimes a lot more. Amen. Amen. Sandra couldn't make it without patience. Amen. Them kids drive her crazy. Well, if she didn't have no patience, Brother Cletus, she'd flip her lid. Amen. In your patience possess ye you your soul. Amen. Yep. You just had to say that, didn't you? <laughs> Brother Do you realize what he said? Brother, Brother Clay's a carpenter. Hit that nail right on the head. Come on. Drove it on in there. Yeah, he did. Your, your patience was that your soul. Yeah. Do you realize that we all need to learn to be a little more patient? Amen. That we all need to realize that God said, he would take care of us. Yep. If God promised us our household, He meant what He said. He Amen. Meant what he said. And what we've got to do is be willing to hold on a little longer. Amen. Yep. Just keep praying and believing and knowing that God will not let us down. Amen. Why? Because truly God loves you. Amen. Yes, He does. He loves you. Amen. And He loves you more than you'll ever know. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Turn with me again. Amen. To Mark chapter 7. 
looking at verse 14. Give you a minute to get there, amen. But listen to what this says. Amen. And I'll tell you, amen, this right here, each and every one of us need to take in each of these three verses, amen. Listen to what it says. Mark chapter 7, verse 14. It says, And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. Come on. I believe God wants us to get an understanding tonight. Amen. Yes, he does. That we can't make it without him. That we need him more than life itself. How many know that Jesus is life? Amen. Yeah. And without him, you just got a stinking way of living. Amen. Yeah. You might not like the way I put that, but that's just the easiest way I know to say it. Amen. Amen. Without God, you're going to hit hell wide open. Amen. You need Jesus in your life more so now today than ever before. Jesus is on his way back. I guarantee you, amen, he's coming soon. Amen. Yes. And each and every one of us need to be looking for that eastern sky. We need to be hearkening unto the voice of God and putting our trust and faith yes. in him and believing in his word and knowing, amen, that if he said it, amen. that settles it. Amen. Right. I want you to know tonight, amen, and God wants you to know, amen, that you need him to be number one. Amen. Listen to this. It says, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand, there is nothing from without a man that entereth into him can defile him. Amen. Come on. Not what goes in him that defiles him. That's right. Amen. You know why? Because we all got to live in this world. Yes, we do. Amen. But we don't have to be a part of the world. You're right. Amen. We've got a choice to make. <clears throat> yep. You know how you don't become a part of the world or be a part of the world? is by hearkening unto the voice of God. Yes. Staying close to Him. Clinging to Him. Amen. Following after righteousness. Amen. Putting your trust and faith in Him and knowing Amen. that He's God. Listen. Said, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. The man. Amen. Got ears. Don't think that it don't matter what I say. It does too. Yes, it There's does. There's power in the tongue. Yes, Amen. there is. Amen. Bible says, and I spoke it this this evening when I come in. Amen. I start shaking everybody's hand. It's just on my heart and on my mind. Amen. I said, good see, good see we got a full house tonight. Thank amen. You, so full house. I was shaking everybody's hand. Good to see that we got a full yeah. house tonight, amen. Yeah. I said, you may think that I'm crazy, amen, but I'll tell you right now, amen, I'm going to speak those things that are not as though oh, they amen. are and believe God for the increase, amen. Why? Because he said I could, Brother Peter, and I'm believing, amen, that we're on our way up, not on our way down, amen. Right. Amen. So it sure don't look like it tonight. We'll quit walking by sight and begin to walk by faith. Amen. Begin to trust and believe God in His Word. Amen. Yes. That He'll not let you down. Amen. Amen. But He'll perform that which He said He would do. Amen. Right. He said anything that proceeds out of the mouth of God, it shall do that which I sent it forth to do. Amen. That's His Word. That's we word. need to trust it. We need to trust Him and believe, amen, and know that we know that we know. Now, I'll guarantee you, amen, every one of us have problems. There's yeah. not a one in here that don't. Amen. And I'll guarantee you, if you, if you took a show of hands right now, you ha you'll probably have a, a house full of hands going up saying that, you know, they need God to do something right now in their life. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yep. Now then. Since we got that settled, how many is going to trust God to do it? Come on. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. How many of you are going to begin to trust God to do it? Amen. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. Verse 16, it says, If any man have ears to hear, let, let him hear. Let him hear. Amen. Amen. What about you tonight? Amen. Do you trust the Lord with all your heart? All your mind and all your soul. Come on, Brother George. Amen. 
Sometimes it's hard. I'm not going to tell you that it's easy. Because sometimes you have to wrestle with self and push self aside in order just to get along with God. I know. But I'll tell you, the more time you spend with Him, the better off you're going to be. Amen? And God will use you and He'll use you mightily. Amen? I'm going to read verse 4 again in Isaiah 51. It says, Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me. O my nations, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a life of the people. Amen. Tonight. We'll just begin to trust Him. We'll begin to heed to Him. Amen. Cling to Him if you would. And I'll, I'm going to trust God. I know it don't look good. I know I, it don't look like I'm going to make it, but God said He wouldn't let me down. I'm just going to trust Him. He got nothing to lose. So I'm going to trust Him. Have it cost you everything you got to trust Him? Then you didn't need it no way. Because God's the one that will take care of you. Amen? Let me tell you, amen, I found myself at times sitting at the feet of Jesus wondering why but then began to realize that if he had shut the mouth of the lion take the three Hebrew boys out of the fiery furnace he could walk on water trust and faith in you because I know if you said it then that settles it. All I gotta do is learn to stand on it, Sister P. Don't let doubt come in. Don't let these things, these how would I say it, these these things of the world, amen, become more important than him. It's easy to do, But you know, we won't do it when we hearken to it. And all I can tell you tonight, amen, is God wants us to hearken unto His voice. Amen. He wants us to get along with Him and let Him lead God and direct us right, amen. so that we can follow after Him in righteousness. Amen. There was a message I preached. I don't remember exactly what verse it, it come out of now 
now, right now, but somebody might remember this, amen. But it said, hope and goodness will follow you all the days of your life. Remember that? Amen. Mercy. Mercy and goodness, that shall follow you all the days of your life. And it will if you'll hearken unto his voice. Amen. Seek after him with all your heart. Amen. If you've not been doing that, it's time to start. Amen. See, God don't care what you've done. He'll cast it far as the east is to the west. What he cares about is what you're doing. Amen. Done's a past tense. Amen. But what you're doing is a now thing. Amen. So will you put him first? Will you begin to hearken after his voice? Amen. And seek after him with all your heart, mind, soul, and body. Let him and make him number one in your life again. Are you willing to do that tonight? Say, God, I'm sorry I faltered and I failed. There's been times, Brother Johnny, that I've had to fall on my knees and say, God, I, I know I've let you down and I'm sorry, but God, I don't want to let you down, God. I want to do what you want me to do. I want to be who you called me to be. God, I can't do it without you. There's been times I've sat on the side of my bed and I've said, God, where in the world are you at, God? God, I don't understand why you won't talk to me tonight, God. God, you know I need you right now. Come to a place where I begin to weep and cry. <clears throat> God, I, I need to hear your voice. I got to know that everything's going to be all right. God, I can't make it another day without hearing your voice. God, God please. somebody tonight, amen. I believe that you've been a long way from him, amen. And you're tired of being that way, amen. God wants you to come home, amen. He wants you to cling to him again, amen. You say, well, I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm doing better than I have in the past. Amen.
He's a forgiving God. Amen. But I can tell you tonight, amen, God expects each and every one of us in here tonight to seek after Him with all our heart. Not just some of the time, but every day of our life. Amen. This is a day-to-day -day walk with Him. It's not a week or Sunday to Wednesday walk. It's a day-to-day -day walk. Amen. And if you truly want an awesome relationship with God, you've got to learn to hearken unto Him. Amen. I love you tonight. Amen. Most of you probably know this verse that I'm fixing to quote, but I'm closing. Amen. But I want you to hear what God's got to say to you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And then all these things will be added unto you. Amen. Yes. The world's got it backwards, I'm telling you. But you don't have to. Amen. Because you know what the word says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all these things will be added unto you. If you're having trouble in your home, in your workplace, in your family tonight, amen, I want to say this. If you'll put God first, He'll fix it. Amen. You'll just start putting Him first. He'll fix everything the devil's trying to mess up. Amen. Oh, 